Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com and this is our project title Optimal Joint Scheduling and Cloud Offloading for Mobile Application. This is our abstract. We introduce the concept of wireless aware joint scheduling and computation offloading JSCO for multi-component applications where an optimal decision is made on which components need to be offloaded as well as the scheduling order of these components. The JSCO approach also for more degrees of freedom in the solution by moving away from a compiler. Predetermined scheduling order for the component towards a more wireless aware scheduling order. For some components, dependency graph structures, the proposed algorithm can shorten execution time by parallel processing appropriate component in the mobile and cloud. We define a net utility that trades off the energy saves the by the mobile. So subject to constraints on the communication delay, overall application execution time and component proced precedence ordering. This is a project flow data flow diagram. First we start the program. After start the program we have the two options. After login the pro after login user login, we have to uh, we have to upload the files into the cloud or download the the file from the clouds. After to upload the if we choose to upload the files, we have to select the set of tile the set of tile files or I mean the tasks. After selecting the task, we have to send the task to the task scheduling. This is a joint scheduling options. It's a joint scheduling options will be sent to get the resource description and uh, schedule the file. After scheduling the file, uh, uh, cloud resource will be hit tokens. Then after getting the uh, decision, after getting the decision, after uh, the resource will be allocated, we then uh, then the send the resource scheduling decision to the uh, user. After setting, uh, sending the decision to the user, the user can uh, upload in the task to into the uh, uh, cloud resources. Uh, and then if we, if we select download files, the same process will be retained. After the develop, so develop process, download process, we have to select the file from the list of files from the cloud storage and we have to send the task, uh, send the file to the task scheduling process. After setting the task scheduling process, we have to, resource will be descriptive and where it will be stored and get the, get the file from the resources and send it to send the decision to the, uh, the user. After sending that, we have to download the files and we, we can open the file in the local directories. Then, after that, we have to stop the program. Let's see the demo of our project. First, click home.java and right click on it. Select run file option. After selecting the run file option, our home page will be displayed on our screen. Then get start into the system. After getting started, we have to uh, log in the cloud services. We have to get the cloud services. We have to register the uh, profiles into the cloud service. So we have to renew register. To click sign up the uh, sign up the user. So user give the username and mail ID. and username and anything you want and password and sign up sign up successfully and we have to return to the login window after getting the login window we have to sign in we have to sign in to the profile where we have to store uh, storage services having upload and download option we have to click select upload file select file to upload select any file we have selected two number of files any number of files so we have select the list of files and send the scheduling request after scheduling the request, the giant cellular will be get the uh, ID and ID of the tasks and scheduling the task. We have to show the task resources needed and the number of tasks here. We have to get the details. After getting the details, we have to select the 
cloud which cloud will be to, uh, will be to here so select any cloud services and then assign this service we have to schedule the uh, vm servers we have to select the selected server is cloud one and we have to say the schedule the schedule will choose in the small uh, virtual machine because it's a uh, less than that uh, less than that uh, large uh, large VM uh, size so we have to select this uh, small then accept the request with the, with the cloud server will be accept the request and so so the button the scheduling decision will be came and uh, task offloading into the cloud task uploaded come uh, successfully then okay then go back to download if you want to download the file means we have to the we have to uh, store the uh, two number of files so we have to select any number of file and schedule set the schedule request so the uh, so the files it's a uh, selected files then uh, scheduling request will be sent to the cloud server it will be seen the, the id and the size and get the uh, get the file from the vm machine and the request after this request will be accepted we have to view the files and download the files from the cloud after creating the download from the file the download successfully we can open the folder from the using the downloads we have to download the file abstract then and then close the program thanks to listen this video